Okay, good news. It is 4.54 and we are into Bear Lake Corridor. So I'm gonna try to find the Emerald Lake Trailhead and find a parking spot first and do the hike. So see y'all when we establish that. <sighs> Currently 5.12 a.m., high 50 degrees, and we have made it to the Emerald Lake Trailhead in the Bear Lake Corridor. So barely got through the gates before the timed entry passes were required. We have one for 6 to 8 a.m. just in case, but we did get through at about 4.54 and made it through here. So it only took about 20-ish minutes to do the drive. Excited to see what it's like going out because Still very dark out, so couldn't really see anything coming in. I know the views are gonna be crazy going out, but I think we are gonna go ahead and get packed up, kinda get things ready, and go ahead and yeah, get on the trail and see the sunrise. And we're off to find the trailhead of the Emerald Lake Trail. It's gonna be fun. Right, so we are on the Emerald Lake Trail just after 5.30 a.m., about 1.8 miles to the lake. In about 1.1, we'll be at Dream Lake, so might stop there for the sunrise. Who knows? I can only imagine how pretty this place is going to be once it does come up. Big fans of Rocky Mountain National Park. Big fans. You said why? Yeah, I'm ready for the sun to come up and be able to see this place. It's just before 6 a.m. Don't have too much longer till the sun starts coming up, but we've gone about three-fourths of a mile and I am feeling this hike. That's so pretty. Look at this freaking view. Also, forgot to mention, there is some rain that's supposed to come through around like noon, and it's supposed to rain from like noon to maybe like five or six ish. Currently, what time is it? Maybe like six. Aha, six, exact. uh -huh, six exact. Let's go. Yeah, I would say this was definitely worth getting up at three seventeen a.m. for, to be precise. If you're wondering, wouldn't you say? Maddie is not the most morning person, so if she says it's worth it, it's worth it. Aspens, Quakies, so freaking pretty. Good grief, I love them. Also, really, I'm gonna be honest, we haven't seen just a crazy amount of people. Definitely a lot less than I've expected, knock on wood. So, I'm gonna continue on. I don't think we should be too far from Dream Lake. I do hear running water somewhere down there. Oh, okay, yeah, you can kind of see it from there. All right, there is the Dream Lake sign, and we should be just a couple of minutes away from Dream Lake. So I think we are gonna watch the sunrise there. Yeah? Yeah! yeah. Let's go. This place doesn't even look real. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, just here. Just. <laughs> Good grief, this is crazy. Holy. <laughs> All right, we spent a little longer at Dream Lake than what we intended, but how can you not when that's what you got to look at. But I think we're gonna go up to Emerald Lake and then cut back, come down here and head up to Lake Haea. So oh, let's keep it going. Oh yeah, yeah, getting up at three was worth it, for sure.
Dang, did you look up to the right too? Oh yeah, yeah, getting up at three was worth it for sure. This trail has been insane so far. To anyone thinking about it, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Just make sure you book it a month early and get your timed entry pass to get your permit. Or get here before 5 a.m. That works too. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I'm dying. I'm dying too. <sighs> So I know the video is not going to do it justice, but this view is crazy. <sighs> now he's back over the video behind that stuff. <sighs> We're just taking our time enjoying it, but about to head up to Emerald Lake. Probably got about 0.3 miles left, maybe a quarter mile, and then I'm going to go over and do Lake Haya. So very, very excited, and we are enjoying this. So, back to the hike. So pretty. So, we have made it to Emerald Lake, which is right. Gonna go see what views we can find. Go see Lake Hay, yeah, so let's get to it. Holy mother. It's like ice bath yeah. That's like, that's definitely ice bath level. I got a 1.2 mile hike up to Lake Haya. What do you got to say about that? <laughs> Dang, I feel like more mountains over here. Up the right. Holy. There's stuff on the back right here. Not that far. And then some rock climbing and you're there. Yeah. Rock climbing. Yeah. Ooh, you know, perfect. You know, no, perfect. That's why that guy had the crack pad. No. <laughs> I'm no, kidding. definitely. Okay, so Maddie and I are way up in the mountains, probably 10,000-ish feet or over it's by gotta now. Be over. It's got to be over, yeah. And we're just looking around and realized you can actually see the parking lot way down there. It'd be cool, silly. Uh, I'm gonna click the beeper. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how much further we have of this trail because we just kind of have it going on all trails. Yeah, didn't really plan on doing this right after, but uh, you know, why not? We're already here. Turn was on the way back, so yeah. <laughs> this is so crazy. 
I said, watch, turns out we missed a turn and we're on a backpacking trail. We're just going. Don't really know how much further we have left. Shouldn't be too much further, so see y'all at the lake. Okay. Alright, time to head back to the car and then I think we are honestly just gonna head to the visitor center and then have kind of an early night. This will be the last night we plan to stay in a hotel for the rest of the trip, so using the rooftop tent from here on out after tonight. Only reason we're doing that is because it was supposed to rain or is supposed to rain still tonight and really afternoon. And so didn't really want to deal with that, so just extended our stay one night but it's gonna continue our trek down this stuff see yeah that tree's insane shouldn't have too much longer till we're back to the car i'm gonna go to the visitor center and head back to the hotel and get some rest worth every bit of the 3 a.m wake up time and getting out here to beat the traffic because it really wasn't that bad from all the reviews and stuff of people talking about how horrendous and stuff it is, I would say I don't know what they're talking about, personally. Because, I mean... It's a different story when we get back there. Yeah, it might be a different story. When we're leaving, I'm sure it's going to be completely packed and, like, people are going to be waiting hella long to get in. So, if y'all come to Rocky Mountain National Park, Maddie and I would recommend y'all to get up and get in here. <laughs> so crazy. Excited though, because I think tomorrow we're gonna try to get up around 4:30, 4:45, get everything loaded, and head over to Black Canyon of the Gunnison. See that? It's gonna be about a five and a half hour drive, so should be there around noon. I did forget to mention it is only 9:01 a.m. So. Got the full day ahead of us still. That's why I was mentioning. We love getting up early and doing things. And you also get to experience it during the best hours. And apparently it's the least packed as well. So I'm starting to see more people as we're heading out. I'm sure the parking lot is going to be completely filled when we get back. All right, so we got to hike down and around some switchbacks. Get back down through there. Parking is way over there. Definitely glad we got here early. I have about a mile left back to the car, maybe a little over, but we're making it. Okay, to put into a little bit of a perspective, we've still got a little ways to go down. Like it's a solid descent, the last mile that we have. And we just switch back all the way through over there, up and around that. There was a pretty good elevation gain, but honestly it didn't feel bad at all. Gone almost five miles so far, It'll probably be just under six when we get back to the car. So 
So the whole first mile that we had hiked in, we did it in the dark with headlamps as y'all saw I'm sure in the first part of the video. So all this stuff is pretty new scenery to us. Alright, Bear Lake is only 250 feet this way so can't resist stopping and seeing that before we get back to the car and head out of here. Yeah. <sighs> We've made it back to the parking lot. Got a small walk back to the car. What's the uh, what's the mileage on the trip, Maddie? The uh, high clock. We'll get to that when we get to the car. I'll see y'all when we get there and get get loaded and stuff. I'm uh, I'm tired and ready to sit down and get a snack. <laughs> you said what? How much? So 1,100 feet of elevation gain and descent because they were both out in back trails. 6.34 miles and we did it in 4 hours and 34 minutes. So 6.34 miles, 1,100 feet in elevation gain and descent, 4.5 hours. Got here at about 5.30, woke up at 3.15. We got through the Bear Lake corridor entrance at 4.54. And that is six minutes short of when you do not need a time to entry permit to get through. So, made it work. And when we got here, there were a decent amount of parking spots available for how packed we thought it was going to be. And on the trail end, as y'all could see, there wasn't a whole lot of people that we passed, past us, encountered along taking pictures, stuff like that. So, would definitely recommend to do it in the morning. We've already decided when we do come back here that it will be in the morning. Anyways, gonna get through this and get out of here. And uh, we're heading out. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks. I think we're gonna go to the visitor center now and then find some food and Boulder probably, so. Definitely glad we got there early. I mean, this is still going. Holy shit. That's crazy. Which, I mean, we were backed up past the visitor center yesterday, I guess. Yeah. Or close to. Yeah, yeah. so. Like, this is time entry, huh? I guess that's true. Yeah, that's wild. <sighs> it's about 6.45 p.m. and... We're just kicked back relaxing, ate dinner about 30 minutes ago, picked up some Thai food, and just kind of been hanging out since we got back here at about 2.30ish. Um, kind of took a lot out of us getting up at 3 a.m. and then going to hike six hours over in. All that stuff somewhere. And then tomorrow I think we're going to get up at around 4.30, 4.45ish, get everything packed up. Going to try to head to the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park by 5.30ish. Got about a five hour, 15, five hour, 30 minute drive. Gonna get to go over Monarch Pass. So it's gonna be fun. It's been a few years since I've done that. Maddie's never been there, but <sighs> I will say Rocky Mountain National Park gets a fat 10 out of 10 from me. And I think that goes the same with Maddie. We're both pooped though. Gonna get a good night's sleep from here on out. The rest of the trip, we plan to be camping on top of the car with our rooftop tent. So gonna enjoy this last night and yeah anyways thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video have a great rest of the day till next time peace